Hello and welcome to Upside Down. In today's quick tutorial I want to show you how to create sequences, add cameras and also animations to your animated assets so that you can create short cinematics. Let's start. I'll be using the animated tentacle that we created a few episodes back. If you missed that video I'll put a link down in the description below. So I already have my tentacle into the scene, I just drag and dropped it here. Now we are going to create a sequence, so we are going to cinematic, add level sequence and we need to choose a location where we are going to save our sequence. I'm just going to save it into the content folder. So what it will create and open for us is this window which is our sequence. I'll just move it and drag it on the bottom so that we can see both our screen and our sequence. And the way that we are adding elements here, we can either drag and drop them from the scene or we can right click and after that add from here. So first thing that I'm going to add is going to be our camera cut track. At the moment you can see that this is empty but once we added some cameras in the scene, we can use the camera track to cut between those cameras. So let's create a camera. I'll use a Cine Actor camera. And to add the camera inside we can just drag and drop it. And you can see that when I drag and dropped it, it filled the whole timeline with this camera. We can see the small red line here, which is marking the end of our sequence. This means that after that it will start all over or it will just stop over here, depending of if we have this put on loop or it's just one time to play. And also we can move it on the side. First I need to zoom out a little bit. We can zoom out by holding control and rotating the wheel on our mouse. So I'll move it on 210 frames. And now you can see that this first camera cut is on 150, but if I grab it, I can move it either forward or backward. So I'll make it that it's on 120 frames. And I'm going to create one more camera. Also going to drag and drop it in here. And this second camera is going to start from our 120th frame. So the way to add the camera is going to be when we are on 120, we just click on camera and then we select the camera that we want to add. So now you can see that we have our first camera and second camera. And on frame 120, it will cut in between. So let's start animating our cameras. I'll first animate our camera one. Here we can see that we have a tab which is called transform. And by clicking on adding a keyframe, I'll add a keyframe where we want to be our initial position. So I will just adjust it a little bit and make it so that it starts from the very beginning of our tentacle. Let's say like this. And we are clicking add keyframe. And then we know that it goes up to 120th frame. So I'm going to move it to 120th frame. And after that, I'm going to move the position of the camera. And once we are happy with where the camera is, we click another add keyframe. And now we can see our movement. Now let's do the second camera. So we are again adding a keyframe, moving it all the way to the last frame. And after that, moving our camera. And again, adding a keyframe. To preview our whole animation and how it looks like in the viewport, we can scroll up and then on the camera cuts we have this small camera icon here. If I click it, you can see that our viewport is changed to what the camera sees. So now if I click play, it will going to play both of the sequences. Perfect. The only thing that I want to change at the moment is that you can see that at the very beginning and end of the cameras, the movement is not with the same speed. Instead, there is a little bit of a speeding up and after that it slows down, but I want it to be with the same speed through the whole animation. So this is happening because at the moment our keyframes have a curve and they are not linear. So I'm going to move down and uh, the way that you can understand what type of keyframes you have for your animations is by the icon of the keyframes itself. So if they're a circular one, this means that they have a smooth curve. But if we select both keyframes, then right click and here we have different types of keyframes that we can use. So I'm going to use linear so that the movement is exactly the same all the way through the animation and I'll do the same thing for the other keyframes. Now if I play the animation, you can see that the movement 
doesn't slow down and doesn't speed up in the very beginning. The only thing that's left for us to do is to add the animation of our tentacle. I'll move this to the very first frame and I'll select our animated tentacle. I'll drag and drop it inside our sequencer. And here inside the animation, I'll click on the plus button and then we are going to select the tentacle animation that we imported last time. You can see that the animation is being loaded here on the bottom and now if I move the slider, it will play the animation. At the moment, you can see that the animation stops over here, but if we just drag it all the way to the end, it will continue looping on its own. Thank you for joining me in today's quick tutorial. I hope that this video was useful and helpful for you. Please leave a comment and a like on the video and see you next time.